Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a quick little video on the Sony a7S III, just a quick tutorial. So if you're here for my regular content, just skip on over to the next video and we'll see you in that next so one. So for those YouTubers that are here for a specific problem, which is the Sony a7S III automatic exposure problem, where you are not able to adjust it in any of your memory recall settings, just stick around and we'll show you how to fix that. Okay guys, I just wanna make a quick little video. I'm not sure how widespread this problem is, but it was something that I kind of ran into and was kind of confused about at first. So hopefully this video helps you out in the smallest or simplest way. But basically the problem is this. When you're in uh, any one of your pro preset modes, one, two, or three, you are having issues adjusting manually your aperture and shutter speed. These things are, are automatically being adjusted based off of whatever the camera perceives is the correct exposure. So as you adjust the ISO, these things automatically adjust. As you adjust the lighting, it automatically adjusts, and you have no control to actually change it using the dials at the top. So what has happened here is during the movie mode, which by the way, you cannot, you cannot set it. Once it's already been set, you cannot change it, at least to my knowledge, to a different exposure mode. So uh, what, what happened was, is when you were in the movie mode and you were actually adjusting this uh, exposure and, and creating your, your preset, what happened was is the exposure mode was left at program auto. And what you need to do is you need to change it to manual exposure. Now, if I go to memory and then under uh, the camera settings, shooting mode, camera set memory one, I can register that. And if I flip the dial back to one, now, if I look at the uh, video mode, I should be able to adjust the shutter speed and the aperture, which is true, I can adjust these things completely. I have full control over that. And obviously this is what most people are gonna to wanna to be able to do is change these things on the fly uh, based off of whatever they perceive as the best exposure for the shot. So one of the big reasons why I'd wanna do this is because if you have a variable ND and you try to like adjust the foreground and background exposure like I'm doing right now, you wouldn't be able to do that because the camera would automatically adjust its exposure to whatever it thinks by adjusting the shutter speed or the aperture by itself. And if you want manual control over that, this is how you do it. So I hope you learned something out of this. I hope this was beneficial for you. If it was, click the like button. Uh, if you're new here and you want more Sony a7S 3 quick little tutorials, consider subscribing and I'll see you in that next one. Thanks guys.